So I want to mount this Kriega OS bag to my rear rack. I have a couple of options. I can use something like the straps that I already have. I can use the Kriega OS loops, which mount here and have loops, or I can make my own solution. Now, Kriega specifically makes their OS loops for this purpose. On this kind of rack, you have a couple of options. You can install them up like this, like you would on the back of a dirt bike fender, or you can install them upside down like this, which makes more sense, keeps things flat. For my case, I don't really like the fact that these are in the way and they don't sit down in the recesses. So you can use this and you can go buy a different bolt at the hardware store. Or you can do what we're gonna do and recreate this using nuts, bolts, washers, and our own bit of Hypalon for the loop. And these OS loops are really nice. They're made with lightweight aluminum and nice Hypalon material for the loops. And it looks like two layers of it. This would be really good if you're using it for actual dirt bike fender and I would suggest buying these. To kind of recreate what the OS loop does, I bought hardware and washers, as well as a strip of Hypalon material from Amazon. All this was around $20, which is about a third of the cost of the OS loops. So we're gonna cut the Hypalon material to the right size for the strips. Then we're gonna punch screw holes. And then we're simply gonna bolt everything together. All right, the hooks on the OS bag are about three quarters of an inch. So we're just gonna use a straight edge here and we're gonna cut out three quarter of an inch strips. All right, we'll check the fit, make sure the strips fit good. It's perfect. So on these next ones, I'm just gonna use a pair of scissors instead of the straight edge. Before I cut them out, I'm gonna mark the spacing with this silver streak pin. I know where to cut. Okay, now that we have eight of these cut out, we're going to take our punch set and figure out how big the hole needs to be. Guessing it will be somewhere. Quarter inch seems to fit well. Oh, that's going to be 730 seconds, looks like it might be the ticket. It is just the right size where you're going to have to press them through and there won't be a lot of play. If there's too much play, I feel like it'll pull on it too much and it might start to tear. Although this material is supposed to be pretty strong. We'll try this. If we need to go bigger, we can go bigger. We have plenty left over. Okay, now we're gonna take our washer and we want it to be right at the end. So we can mark where we want the hole to be. And we'll just take the hammer. wax and then we have our hole. In an effort not to destroy this, I'll use the little pad that it came with. Let's do the same thing on this side.
a little off center, so we'll just do it a little to the right. That looks pretty good. So we need to make four of them that look like this. You can actually fold it over. The inside ones are going to be slightly longer than the outside ones. So we're going to have to take that into account when we do the other four. And for the inner pieces, we're going to fold it over and see where everything lines up. Get it all straight. And we'll mark where the cut needs to be made. Go ahead and do it with a pencil on both sides. Now that all of the straps are cut out, we have the outer ones and the inner ones. We take a look at the hardware. I use stainless steel M6 hardware. Stainless steel stop nuts. One of the issues with the OS loops from Kriega is you have to add Loctite. If you don't have Loctite, that's another thing you have to buy. With these stop nuts, they simply hold themselves in place. By one inch washers, they're a little bit bigger than the actual loop. So you need four bolts, four nuts, eight washers, and you can build approximately the same setup. You're also gonna need an Allen key and some sort of wrench for the nut. So let's go ahead and assemble these guys and then we'll bolt them onto the bike. Okay, here's a look at what it looks like assembled. Now let's go put them on the rack. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and install these guys. One at a time. Here is what the loops look like installed. Yeah, so they do the same thing as the OS loops from Kriga. They are made out of the same material, so they should last just as long. Now let's mount the bag up there and see how that looks. Alright, here's the bag, mounted into place, and this is the OS 12 bag, the OS 6 bag, they're slightly closer together so it won't pull at an angle like this, but that is pretty solid, certainly not going anywhere. And here it is from the right side. Now to, dis to disconnect the bag, you would release the buckle, pull a little bit of slack out, and then unhook it. 
And then if you don't know anything about an OS bag, if you release these three buckles, this is a roll type bag and it has a waterproof liner. Hopefully that was helpful. If any of you want to make your own luggage loops, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content and we'll see you next time.